Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mr. Riley coming to you live from the West Coast. The West Coast, I forgot. The West Coast, the best coast, the West Side. Thank you for tuning in, and hopefully you are doing well wherever you are watching from. So just recently, my wife and I celebrated 27 years, uh, our 27th wedding anniversary. And we usually celebrate by going out of town. And so we went to Curacao. We had an amazing, an amazing time uh, just getting out of the country. And I'm not too sure why we chose to go to Curacao, uh, but we went with another couple, my brother from another mother and his wife. And so uh, both uh, both couples, uh, we traveled there, had an amazing time, had some wonderful, uh, you know, just wonderful food, being immersed in the culture. And uh, we spent seven days in Curacao, so definitely if you have not had that opportunity to go, put that on one of your bucket lists. Um, it's at the top. It's in a, it's on an island at the top of South America uh, near Venezuela. So um, it's a Dutch colony or former Dutch colony. But no, it's a great place to visit. Uh, wonderful beaches, wonderful food, and the people are so, so nice. Um, however, we didn't want to talk about that today. Uh, but I do have a question for you. Have you ever... Uh, make travel reservations, whether it's an a airplane flight or a hotel reservation or rent a car or maybe uh, some kind of excursion as, uh, you know, maybe an ATV ride or a private tour of a city or something like that. And you went to look for the information in your email and you couldn't find it. It took you forever. Um, sometimes, um, well, years ago, my wife and I, you know, before we got this resource, we would stand and, you know, get our rental car and we'd be fumbling through emails. Did you send it to me? I sent it to you. No, you just sent it to me. And so we would kind of have some egg on our face. But what we did is, or what I started to do, started to use uh, this app called TripIt. And so in this video, I just briefly want to uh, share my experience with this particular app. Uh, it really helps to organize your trip in terms of getting reservation and confirmation um, information. Uh, pulls all of that information from your email address that you use to sign up with. Hopefully it's the same one that you use when you're traveling. But yeah, it scans your email, looks for reservation and confirmation a kind of information for your trip. It puts it all in one complete place. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, talk about TripIt. And uh, maybe you could use this to kind of help uh, have all of the information in one place as you're traveling to and fro. So here we go. Let's hop into the app cam, if we will. Okay. So let me do a search for TripIt. There it is right there. And so, again, it's a downloadable version, a downloadable app, you know, on either your tablet or uh, you can download it from uh, from the Apple Store or probably Google Play, um, wherever you get your apps from. Just type in TripIt and it will pop up. So uh, normally there is a welcome screen, especially if you've never had if you've never had this app, you can just register for free. And again, the kicker is you have to use the same email that you use to book your reservations. And so if, you know, I have several um, email addresses, but I have one main email address that I use. And so uh, oftentimes if I make a reservation, uh, TripIt will scan my email pull all of that information in Crete and itinerary for me, or if my wife creates, um, books a hotel or rental car, uh, all of that information, usually I'll just ask her to forward it to me. And then uh, my email, TripIt, um, will automatically put that information into an itinerary. So here we are. Um, as you can see, the last trip that I took was uh, to Curacao, the Netherlands. And so uh, let's kind of look at that so you can kind of get a better idea of what the layout looks like once you make those reservations. So again, um, everything that you see here, I did not have to put in manually. Everything was generated from an email that was forwarded to me from my wife. But 
it involved, um, it had a lot of information that we needed for our trip. So again, um, uh, LAX to JFK, JetBlue, that information is in there. Um, gave me the information for the layover and then also the other flight uh, from JFK to, uh, to Curacao, got that information in there. And then also the lodging information, um, Curacao Marriott Beach Resort, it has that information, you know, get, gives as much detailed information as we need, nine miles from the international airport. So, and then uh, the checkout as well. So we arrived on Sunday, checked out on Saturday, and then it has the information right there for us. If I click on the JetBlue information, it should have my confirmation number. And indeed, at the very top, that's my confirmation number. Um, and then because we traveled internationally, I did have to put my passport information in my login. Um, and so that was pretty cool as well. And then usually um, it will give you a map of the airport itself. And so just like this right here, um, this is the leg from LAX to JFK, gave me all of the information, terminal, and it's really up to date as well. So if something changes on the last minute, it will be updated in the app. Um, if I needed to attach a document, I could have attached the document right there. Um, and then again, the maps of, the, of LAX, if I touch on it, it'll give me Terminal 5, if I come back out of it. And the, the app is real intuitive. It's not difficult to navigate as well. So then that's the JF, JFK. Um, and it doesn't give me the terminal. Oh, there, there it is, Terminal 2. And the good thing about this particular airport on this trip, uh, we didn't have to travel too far from one gate to another. So that's a, that's a very good thing with JetBlue. Um, so yeah. So... And then it gives, some, gives me the information in terms of, uh, you know, the flight number and then how many miles that we, we were going to fly, right? So it gives me information about the aircraft. And all of this was already put in. I did not have to manually put it in. If I wanted to put in some information, then all I could do is just, all I have to do is just hit edit at the top. And then it gives me uh, the cursor, cursor to put in the information. So... Um, I'm not going to put in, I'll just put for entertainment, I'll just put, um, use the, uh oh, use the app. All right now, I think it was flyfi.com. Um, they have a lot of movies and things of the nature. So hit save. And so it's going to save that information as a part of the airline and flight information for that leg of the trip. So let's come all the way back to the beginning. And then, um, again, Curacao, or JFK to Curacao, has that information as well, the maps there that you can see, and all of that good information. So I don't know why it says three passengers. It was just myself. Okay. It was just actually two passengers. So there we are. And then if we look at the hotel reservation, um, there's a confirmation number at the top and it gives me information, telephone number, how far away it is from um, the airport. So then there's information on restaurants and cafes and bars, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I didn't even notice this. Um, so let's just hit restaurants and let's see what pops up. So near, near the Curacao Marriott Beach Resort, you can see a number of restaurants there. Um, you see McDonald's, the Hudson, a filtration, uh, filtration, coffee roasters. Um, so yeah, a few different places right there. But yeah, I'm not necessarily using the app to help tell me where um, some of the restaurants are, but you might find that handy for you. And then again, the return information, Saturday, all the information is right there. JFK, curious out of JFK, and from JFK to LAX. So again, and one another thing, another reason that I like this particular app as a travel app, it kind of keeps all of my past trips. Um, and so 
let's see, if I hit show all, it'll show all the trips that I took, right? So when I went to go see my son, my son played uh, football at Jackson State University. And so this was very, very helpful for when we would go. Um, we needed to book an uh, airline flight. We needed to book a rental car and we needed to book a hotel. So again, having all the information in hand in one place was super, super easy, super, um, uh, super great to have when we needed to confront or talk to a ticket agent at any one of those locations. And so uh, that's one thing. And then the good thing, too, is if you don't want to use the app version, there is a desktop version as well. And so all you have to do is go in and go to TripIt. And there you are right there. And the best thing about it is you can sync all of the information as well. So there is a tab somewhere in the app where you can link, um, you know, your your devices and all that kind of good stuff. So here again is just what it looks like on the desktop. And if I go to past trips, I click on it and it's going to give me in, in plain view sites some of my past trips. Um, my second son, when he was playing football at the University of uh, New Mexico, here's this information right here. So again, we didn't necessarily need a rental car uh, when we visited him because he lived very close to the airport. And so he would pick us up and drive us around, um, especially if it was the two of us, if it was the whole family, then we definitely needed a rental car. Um, and so as you can see, um, we used budget. Uh, let's see, we stayed at the Spring Hill Suites. And again, everything was put in. I did not have to modify, uh, put any information in for this reservation. And also the good thing about using the app version, it tells you when you can check in. Um, it will notify you when it's time for you to check in within that 24 hour window. So either way, um, by either using by either using the app or using the desktop version, this is probably the best way for you to uh, create and, and curate all of the information as it relates to your trip. No more fumbling at the gate, looking for emails, looking for a confirmation code or whatever the case might be. Everything is in one central location where you don't have to look like a doofus. <laughs> Everything is just curated right there all in one central place. And uh, you know, you'll find it beneficial. And then the good thing that I like, especially when I just uh, noticed this a few moments ago when I was prepping for this. Um, it kind of curates all of the miles that you have traveled. And so let me see if I can find that um, information here. Um, let's see. It gave me all of the miles that I had traveled. Let me see if I can find that really, really quick. Uh, I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, that it was able to do that, and I'm not be, I'm not able to find. Okay, let's go for trips. I can't find it right now. Oh well, it's all good. Maybe if we go to profile. Yes. Okay. So here we go. I can show you, and I don't mind showing you as well. So again, on the desktop version, um, I I haven't seen this on the app version, but you can actually pull up your travel stats. And so if we look at some of my stats here, again, your personal info, your profile, name, home city, Inglewood, and then um, travel stats. So it tells me how many miles I've traveled, how many days, how many total trips, countries, and regions I've visited, cities I've visited, and then the carbon footprint. So I thought that was very, very cool just to have all of that information in one central uh, location. So other than that, um, hopefully you'll find some value in what we talked about, especially as you, uh, you know, it's the summertime and uh, you, if you plan to get out the house and travel, whether it's an unplanned traveling event or a planned travel event, um, this will definitely allow you to help uh, you keep all of that information in one central location. And then you're able to actually, the last thing before we go, you're actually able to add on information. So if I wanted to, uh, let's go back to this trip right here to the Netherlands. Of course, it might not allow me to do so now because it's over, but let's see. So I know we did have an excursion where we 
uh, had an ATV or UTV um, excursion. So you can put that information in. So let's put in uh, UTV. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to use my keyboard over here. Let's go ahead and type it in. So UTV, that is with Curacao. Curacao activities. All right, and I think we did that one on Wednesday. So let's put the 17th. Uh, our reservation was at one o'clock. And then if I had the address, I will put it. Um, but it was a three hour uh, ride. And so end date on the 17th. And let's put at 430. 430 right there and let's just hit save now if i had the confirmation number i could put that in there as well but i didn't ask my wife to send that over to me um, and so you know there it is right there if there was a confirmation number i could have uh, used that uh, when i got to the counter there at uh, curacao activities okay but we had a wonderful time riding a utv utv stands for utility um, utility vehicle and uh, just a wonderful, wonderful time over there in Curacao. All right, guys. Other than that, um, that's all I have. Uh, hopefully you found some value in using this app called TripIt, whether it's the desktop version or the mobile app version, whatever you choose. Um, hopefully you'll use this app to help curate and have all of your travel information in one central location. That way you won't have to look crazy when you're talking to the travel agent or hotel uh, hotel reservation person uh, trying to find the confirmation number. You can have everything in one central place. All right. Other than that, um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, this is Mr. Riley coming to you live from the West Coast, the best coast, the West Side. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, you guys. Bye-bye.